For the past several years, a group of dedicated American slap fighters have been developing a new extreme sport in undisclosed locations across the Midwest. Most athletic commissions in the U.S. don't recognize this new sport, so the fighters have been competing underground. Still, the fan base for our sport has grown. We are now an international sensation. Our fighters don't compete for glory. They are here to test themselves. This is not a sport for the weak. This is Slap Fight. Contest is scheduled for 10 rounds and is a heavyweight contest. Introducing first from Fulton, Missouri, weighing in at 251 pounds, Frank the Tank! From Rogersville, Tennessee, Baby Ray! All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact, but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. Here we go with Baby Ray versus Frank the Tank. And while you were away, Frank did win the coin toss, so he will slap first. And I'm excited for this fight. Here, Frank's going to check his placement here. And here's the windup. Oh, we got a knockdown here in round one. Baby Ray takes a seat. Oh, that was a solid slap by Frank the Tank. Wow. Okay, now Baby Ray does have 60 seconds to clear his mind to get back to the barrel, and I don't foresee that being an issue for him. Baby Ray's been in a lot of fights. I doubt this is the first time he's been knocked down, so I would expect he will return to the barrel here. In fact, it looks like he's already clear-headed. Baby Ray is a left-handed fighter, so we're going to see what, what his wind-up looks like now. Nice. Oh, Baby Ray throwing bombs. Frank's going to eat that first one and push the pace here. Here's Frank with his windup. One, two, three. Oh, 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 no. Oh, Frank with another knockdown. That didn't look good. Baby Ray didn't have his hands behind his back there for that slap. That's the policy here at Slap Fight, and it looked like at the last second he may have been leaning forward on the barrel, which which sort of threw his momentum off. And Oh, okay. It looks like Baby Ray has a cut on his left cheek, and official Q Davidson is going to call the action. Now, this is going to be a TKO win for Frank the Tank. That was two knockdowns by Frank, and unfortunately this fight's going to end uh, due to cut. And uh, that's really unfortunate for Baby Ray. Unfortunate ending to a fight that was on the verge of becoming incredible. Frank the Tank with the knockdown in round one. Baby Ray returned with a bomb. And then in round two, Frank finished the job with another spectacular slap. And just a simple mistake by Baby Ray of hand placement on the barrel put him in a position to smack his forehead on the barrel lip. Again, let's take a look. His arms in front of him, leaning on the barrel. Frank knocks him backwards, and he corrects his center of gravity, running his forehead right into the lip of the barrel. One more time. Big shot by Frank, and here we go. Big shot by the barrel. Unfortunately, Baby Ray's gonna lose this fight by TKO due to cut. But we know he'll return to Slap Fight Championship again. He is a fantastic fighter, and unfortunately, this was just a bad beat. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by TKO, Frank the Tank! 
All right, fans, let's take a look at the Trilla VFX replay. Frank the Tank, big win tonight. Not just one, but two big wins tonight on Titans Clash for Slap Fight Championship. But I'm noticing you're short a little bit of hardware because the people call you the people's champ. Where's the, where's the, where's the title at? I haven't carried it around because I'm not defending it right now. But I mean, do you, I mean, do you have it? It's back in the dressing room. Back in the dressing room. Well, back in the dressing room. Let's see if we can't get Tech out here. championship right on the shoulder where it belongs of Frank the Tank. Stay tuned for more Slap Fight Championship. When we last saw Wolverine, he had just completely cleaned out the light heavyweight division with highlight reel knockouts of Archaic Death and Rocky Moore and big wins over Cody Fout, Frank the Tank, and Chris Dodson. He shaved his beard for the fans and put his belt on the line against the former champ, then proceeded to put on a slapping clinic before doctors stopped the fight and declared him the undisputed champ. A few months later, Wolverine vacated his title and entered the light heavyweight tournament, only to win it back again that evening in devastating fashion with a nine-round war in the finals versus the current middleweight champion. Having earned undisputed status, a number two pound-for-pound -pound ranking, and the respect of the fans, Wolverine set his sights on the only man to ever defeat him, number one ranked undisputed heavyweight king, Darius the Destroyer staring into the soul of Darius right now. One, Using a new technique. Two, the internet's biggest slap fan hosted while these two titans of slap slugged it out at the barrel in the most highly anticipated matchup in slap fighting history. Wolverine and Darius delivered, matching slaps round after round, blow for blow in the greatest slap paddle ever witnessed. The heavyweight title was on the line and these two undisputed champions went toe to toe, power shot after power shot without either showing signs of wear. With no clear winner emerging, these two elite slappers continued the pace until the bottom of the 11th round when Darius landed a huge shot. hurt. Wolverine's eyesight began to flutter. He gathered his composure and realized he needed to rally and finish the champion before doctors decided to stop the contest. With his left cheek swelling badly, he stepped back to the barrel and continued to fight, looking for a path to victory. Darius, seeing the opportunity to finish Wolverine, turned up the intensity, landing heavy blows and chipping away at the light heavyweight champ. As the fight approached the 20th round, Wolverine felt his chances at becoming double champion slipping away. He decided to push the pace and force Darius to fight at his tempo. And he takes them both with ease, as you would expect from Darius. Round 20, taking no breaks. Darius not going to his corner. I think he wants to end it right here. Oh my god, we're just getting right back into it. getting 
hurt more watching the slaps than Darius does receiving them. Wolverine, though, is not in good shape. Darius just fine stretching out his jaw a little bit. That was a rapid fire round. In round 27, doctors stopped the fight against the wishes of Wolverine and declared Darius the Destroyer the winner and still undisputed slap fight heavyweight champion. Wolverine was gracious in defeat but left the event disappointed and wondering what could be next for the light heavyweight champion. Enter undisputed middleweight champion, Coach Killa. The Arkansas native exploded onto the American slap scene in 2020 during the light heavyweight tournament where he made his slap fighting debut. He advanced to the final round where he faced Wolverine for the title. The game newcomer battled with the champion, but his lack of experience seemed to be a factor as he had no answer to the precise power shots landed by the champion. Coach Killa stayed in the fight, delivering big shots of his own. But in the end, it was Wolverine who left the event center with the light heavyweight championship. After taking eight thunderous slaps from the champion, Coach Killa decided to throw in the towel and try his hand at a new weight class. The middleweight division was stacked with tough challenges for the newcomer. Powerhouses like Achilles, who Coach Killa chopped down in two rounds, sending his outspoken foe to the mat for a quick nap and nabbing his middleweight championship. Next came Big Mac, who took a seat quickly in his ill-fated showdown with the Arkansas native. The next big test came in the form of veteran slapper and mixed martial artist Chris Dotson, whom he dazed with a well-placed slap in round one and then dropped with a power slap in round two. Coach Killa had effectively cleaned out his division and was looking for the next challenge when event promoters offered him a heavyweight exhibition match versus Young James during the Titans Clash pay-per-view on Fight. In his heavyweight clash with Young James, Coach Killa proved that not only did he have the chin to compete at heavyweight, he had improved his skill set to the point where he felt ready to make a run at the only man to ever defeat him at the barrel. Following the Titans Clash event, Coach Killa issued a challenge to Wolverine. Undisputed light heavyweight champion versus undisputed middleweight champion. Both titles on the line. Winner take all. Wolverine versus Coach Killa. The winner becomes the first double champion in slap fighting history, and the loser will no longer compete at Slap Fight Championship. Don't miss Slap Fight Championship Redemption, premiering Friday, November 12th on Fight. In our main event, number two ranked undisputed knockout king of 2020, defending light heavyweight champion, Wolverine. Facing number three ranked undisputed knockout king of 2021 and defending middleweight champion, Coach Killa. Also on the card, Florida-based heavyweight boxer The Bell brings his heavy hands to the barrel to face slap fight people's champion, Frank the Tank, in a featured fight between two big knockout artists that promises fireworks. Don't miss The Bell versus Frank the Tank, Friday, November 12th, only on Fight. The light heavyweight division gets a new influx of talent during our eight-man redemption tournament, featuring a U.S. Marine from Shimokin, Pennsylvania, Shimokin Thunderclap. Coming to us from parts unknown, U.S. Military Special Forces, The Butcher. Nashville, Tennessee native and professional axe throwing competitor, Battle Axe makes his slap fight debut. Our super fan Ricky gets his first pro fight from Terrytown, Louisiana, the Bayou Bastard. And the pride of Canton, Ohio, collegiate football sensation, Johnny Juice. From Flat River, Missouri, 
working man and country boy, Lead Belt Chapman returns. A 6'5 tennis pro coming to us all the way from Lehigh, Utah. Welcome White Simba to Slap Fight Championship. And aspiring rapper Young James from Harrison, Arkansas makes his run at light heavyweight. Also featuring our guest presentation model, McKenna, and highlight commentary from MixedMartialArts.com managing editor, Jason Burgos. Friday, November 12th on Fight, our 14th Slap Fighting event, Slap Fight Championship Redemption. Pre-order now for $9.99 and do not miss this underground slap fighting event. Join us at slapfight.live for more information and support the growth of American slap fighting. My name is JT Tilly and I'll see you November 12th on Fight.